been doing this show now for 12 years. We were just talking about that really yesterday, old. so I know <laughs> I am really old. I've always said, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tiff. You're yeah, you're always keeping my ego in check, aren't Double you? Double persist. I've always said the most difficult people to interview are comedians. Uh -huh. Usually it's because they're trying too hard to be funny and they sort of take over the show. Yeah. But not our <laughs> next guest. <laughs> he is a comedian and he is funny, but he doesn't try too hard and he's always a perfect gentleman. It's true. Will Durst is a comedian with hometown roots. He went to Waukesha South High School. Shout out to them. He started doing stand-up comedy at a bar in downtown Milwaukee in the mid-70s. He was booed off the stage all the time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she <laughs> added that. That's not, that's oh, not that in the teleprompter. She's so weird. Tiffany, How did that come out of my mouth? That was mouth? an editorial comment <laughs> right in the so middle. weird. It's true, though. But this Saturday night, he's going to be performing at Comedy Sports. The show's going to be filled with political humor. It's called Midterm Madness. We want to see it. Yeah, Good. you got to come. See you. Yeah. Have How's you ever going? been booed off the stage? Oh, oh, uh, not booed off, but okay. booed it during the middle. Does yeah. Does it fuel you or does it frighten you to be booed? It's it's just another nail into the coffin <laughs> of comedy. You know, <laughs> you, you just keep going and and you, you a lot of bruises and you learn to yeah. reject them and 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 I'm a political comic, so I get a lot of material. The hard part is keeping up right now. Well, people probably get pretty hot about politics. And so when they're laughing, they're laughing. When they're offended, they're offended. And I'm not respectful either. I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make fun of anything. I'll make fun of his hair. Yeah. You know? Doesn't he realize that anybody over the age of 60 with long hair looks ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Will you just comb it over once, you know? Just give it a give it a feel. I yeah. can't. Do you do I got the forehead. With that? Do you no. do a man no. bun no. ever? No, 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 none of that no. stuff. No, no. You really Soon. want to? Soon. Soon. I'm going for the I'm going for the you know the reprobate hippie look. I you like know, it. Honestly, the, in terms of material <laughs> for comedy, the 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 presidents, uh, current and past, you have it, it's just like you must wake up every day and it's like gifts from God. It it is, but then. Uh, it, it's so much because I used to have material on Scaramucci. I used to have material on Omarosa, yeah. and it's not just old; it's ancient. It's medieval. It's it's wearing a breastplate right now. So <laughs> the hard part is is you know, okay, I swear to God, I'm not making this. I switch between baseball and the news, and stuff happens between batters. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say it's changing so fast. I mean, you've got to keep up with even things like tweets, and that's one of the things you tout is you'll have the latest tweets and the latest exactly. changing news exactly. in your material. So you're constantly writing. Yeah, and uh, I have to write something about today because he tweeted out that the Democrats killed 3,000 people in Puerto Rico. He tweeted that out. So uh, yeah. Yeah, he, I mean, and the corruption in Washington is so large right now, you can, it can be seen from space. It can actually <laughs> be seen from space. What do you think it is about Milwaukee audiences? I know you went to high school here, but didn't you also visit around a little bit with uh, Marquette? You went to UWM? I went to Marquette UWM. first semester. I went to UWWCW. Yeah, Waukesha Technical right, right, College. WTC, yeah. Um, and UWM, wow. University wow, you're of Wisconsin, good. Madison. Yeah, uh, no, I never went to Madison. But I, never I, graduated? No, I, no, I, I'm, I'm close. I'm, I'm, I'm about... Just two credits away. No, about, about 50. Because <laughs> uh, I, I can't pay the $3,700 in parking fines. I get, I get a parking fine almost every day that I was on campus. I get it. I, I had a boot that. once on campus. Really? In my car, yeah. UWM? Mm -hmm. No, in Minnesota, but you know. <laughs> oh, where'd you go? <laughs> St. Ben St. John's. So oh. They still booted it. Oh, very nice. Still booted it. Private so, school. Yeah. Harlem. They should put boots on <laughs> in private I got school. to go for free. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> Smart girl. Thank you. It's Either true. that or a good uh, volleyball player. Did that too. Ah. <laughs> that too. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what is it about Milwaukee audiences that keeps you coming back and that, that, that they want you to keep coming back, do you they're, think? They're smart. They're, they're sophisticated <laughs> audiences in terms of comedy. No, it's true. Oh, I really? Mean, in terms of comedy, because comedy's been here for so many years and, and uh, they understand and I can get away with shortcuts and, and, uh, and I can play to the audience's strengths yeah. instead of having, keep throwing button hooks. I can throw a couple of uh, long passes and they'll catch up to them. I always think of, of stand-up being a set 
that's set. Do you actually change or improv within your set ever based on your audience's responses? Very good, Tiffany. It's called a routine uh -huh. for a reason because yeah. you have to get over and over. And that's, that's me. That's, Look that's at you. Uh, yeah. Are you wearing the same outfit? <laughs> I am. That's Different great. T-shirt. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is my costume for this show. I love it. I have a costume for every show. <laughs> And next year I'm going to write a show about the environment. So I have to have to keep okay. up. I have to keep writing new stuff. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, what about Wisconsin politics? Don't know much. Uh, some guy named uh, a Walker is uh, very <laughs> successful. I, I assume Tammy looks like a shoe in Tammy. So that's good. And uh, I, I don't know if if Walker can be beat. You know, really? I, yeah, I, th I think he has the money behind him. But that's all I know. I don't know anything about. So you don't uh, keep up with Wisconsin. I try politics. to, but not. I, I don't have the opportunity to talk about it on stage to make it funny. Right. Like I'll come up with a line. Like I came up with a line that uh, uh, Rick Gates testified that he stole from Paul Manafort, who stole from Trump, who stole from everyone. These guys are the Russian nesting dolls of crime. <laughs> you know. And another Russian connection. Coincidence? <laughs> yeah, probably. That's what. That's what a coincidence nesting is. Nesting dolls. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Do you, do you like to play on both sides? I mean, will you make fun I of used to. Republicans and I used, Democrats? I used to, until November 8, 2016. <laughs> and then I, I, I went, no, I'm going to play by his rules. Yeah. Uh, so that's a warning if you think okay. that the current occupant of the White House is a breath of fresh air. This show is not for you. Because you call it a reign of error. Yes, yes, <laughs> Donald Trump. And the Democrats are so weenie that, you know, you feel bad. Oh, you know, you pick on the, de it's like kicking a puppy, you know, a, a, a crippled puppy with mange and a lazy eye in a, in a cage in the corner of a kennel. Uh, you know, so, yeah, you just feel can't bad. Do, it. do you think no. there's a difference, though, between, like, I think George Bush, and I know you, you say, you know, he, I still look at reruns of stuff that he would say. Yeah, yeah. He'd, like, say things like, the internet me once, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, shame yeah. on you. And then he's like, fool me twice, you're never going to fool me again. Like, <laughs> to me, he said the funniest <clears throat> things of any president, uh, I think. And, and uh, but is there a difference between stuff like that that's maybe funny and kind of, Cute. I'm not saying he's cute, and I'm not making a reference on politics. <laughs> Maybe more innocent. But more innocent. But then, like with Trump right now, again, not a political statement, but a, a lot of people feel very convicted about uh, and very upset about how things are going. And it's it's maybe not as innocent per se from a, a comedy right. standpoint. Right. What are your thoughts on because that? Because he's uh, well, I, and then you go back to Obama. I don't know if you heard Obama speak. Uh, earlier this week in Illinois, he was at uh, a university in Illinois, and he spoke, and he spoke passionately, and he went, oh, wow, there's a guy, you know, he, he can speak in, uh, above a fifth grade level. It's, it's, <laughs> and he was a leader, too. It can happen. Yeah, yeah. Don, Donald Trump is the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, yeah. he, he did for political comedy what, what legalized marijuana did for Cheetos. <laughs> Did you get a lot of jokes out of Trump not being at the funeral of John McCain? Did no, you say a lot of stuff no. about that? Funerals are tough to joke yeah. about. You yeah. Know? yeah. But just too the soon. fact that he too wasn't soon, invited. Right? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah, that's a comedy riff. Too soon. Too right. Soon. Yeah. 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 All right, good stuff. And, Mc and McCain was a, a great. I, I liked how everybody came together. Yeah. You know, it was like, I don't know if you saw the picture of Melania at Barbara Bush's funeral. But she she's smiling and and stuff and and she's with the Clintons and the Obamas and the Bushes and and, and, and it was the first time I've seen her smile in like 20 months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's interesting. So you're performing this Saturday um, here in town, 7:30. 7:30 at Comedy Sports. Look at uh, your hair on fire. Look at that. Broadway oh. World says this is the best solo show. They gave you a big award for it. So yeah, big deal. Yeah, yeah. Got to head on out 7:30. Um, you can get $20 tickets at brownpapertickets.com. Thank you, Ms. Tiff. Love it. Or I'll be in Madison tomorrow night for the Fighting Bob Festival. Love oh, it. Oh, okay. And, and you guys, you look great. So do you. Did, you. did you color coordinate today? We did. No. It happens on accident, but it's it happens often. It's sort of often. like ESP. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, with the yellow couch, the big yellow. Right, exactly. You look good yeah. on the yellow couch. Please come back and sit on yes. it again. Thank you. I love it when yeah. you visit. <laughs> and he, look, he wore new shoes for us today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You always out. have shiny white shoes and on. So nice. Oh, and your patriotic Hold those socks. Give us a little flexibility. Look at that. There you go. I love it. Thanks so much. Thanks, you guys.